All right, welcome back everybody. So this is a little bit different video than I'm normally gonna do. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the issue of city skylines crashing while you're saving. Now this is you if you're using the traffic manager mod. Um, basically this, this mod for some reason, for a lot of people, all of a sudden has started to crash their game, especially when saving. But it also randomly crashes. This is something that I came across, and a lot of uh, and a lot of other people are coming across as well. If you go le read those comments, it's even affecting uh, Traffic Plus Plus. But I think those guys are already working on a fix. But this mod here, from what I've been reading so far, he's trying to claim that it's not his fault and all this stuff. I'm not going to get into that right now. But basically, this is what I did to fix it. Um, in the comments of that, I'll go ahead and link to the download of this stuff here. Basically, it, it'll link you to the same spot that I got these from. For from the comments of that video, if all credits go to that person, um, I'll, I'll probably put their name up on the screen if I can remember to do that. Um, basically, they they recreated this mod, and uh, it's got the the mod actually in here, and it's it's really nice. I mean, as soon as I plopped this down in there, I played for like good three hours straight, saved numerous times, never one crash. The game actually honestly ran a little bit smoother as well. Um, I don't know if this takes away the ability to uh, cloud save again. Um, but I was I was able to save to the cloud. I don't I wasn't really paying attention to see if things changed. Um, I need to go back in there and see if it kept any changes I made to like lanes and whatnot. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure it does. Um, so this is a pretty straightforward installation. Um, the only problem is you're gonna have to do a little bit of, of hunting now because of the way the uh, Steam Workshop. I don't want to open that. Uh, the way the Steam sh uh, Workshop works and creating mods. So to find this mod, the easiest way I'm going to say is to, you're going to go ahead and click once and then click again until it highlights it blue. And then you want to highlight this whole thing. If you can't hide, if it doesn't have that DLL at the end, don't worry about it. We can add that here in a minute. And then what you want to do is just hit the Windows key and F. And basically that'll bring up the find window. Now you just want to go and paste it up here. If it was just the first part without the .dll, just add .dll over here before you hit enter. So I'm going to go ahead and just paste that in there. And as you can see, we get um, them right here. So this is my program file. So you probably want to look for, as you can see, I've got it installed on my second drive. Um, but you want to look for something, program file, Steam, library, something along this lines right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go right click and you're going to hit uh, down here at the bottom, open file location. So here's where I, uh, I had this. So I went ahead and backed up the old version. I, I would recommend doing that just um, if you have the extensions in, uh, turned on just go ahead and, and add dot back or something at the end or just create a folder and drop them in there whichever way it's going to work um, you can always re-download the mod through the uh, the steam workshop but you know you just want to be careful with that make sure you at least have some sort of backup and then you just want to take these guys drag them in here drop them and you're good to go after I did that I had no issues. Um, you may need to unsubscribe from the mod in the uh, in the Steam Workshop first. Um, I was reading that some people were worse recommending that, but I don't know if that will disable the mod or not. Um, but I did not do that. I haven't had it change on me, and I have the the files are on my desktop anyways. Uh, if something does change, so I can just drop them right back in there. So yeah, definitely, guys, try this out. Let me know if this fi uh, fixed it for you. There's so many issues going on with City Skylines right now. I'm, I'm glad that this issue fixed for me. If you have any other problems, go and leave those in the comments down below. I'll try and see if maybe I've had that issue, you know, that you're having, and tell you how I might have fixed it. Because I've come across a lot of weird stuff in this game, and uh, I've had a lot of uh, other, you know, strange fixes I've had to do with this game. So. Uh, especially when you're someone who loves to mod the game, you know, things go wrong and things can go wrong real quick. So uh, definitely guys, stay tuned for future videos. I'm going to keep pumping out City Skylines uh, Let's Plays. Uh, go and subscribe for those if you're new to this channel. Go and check out those. You know, we're, we're you know, I think we're on episode like 20 now. Uh, just kind of get that under control. Um, you know, it's been a little while since, you know, I've been able to read, you know, steadily pump out content because the game has been, you know, crashing on me. But now that we got this all figured out. There should be more uh, content coming out on the channel. So definitely, guys, stay tuned. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.